problem. No, I don't think it's a problem. <laughs> so let's talk about services in its fifth edition. Can you please tell us about uh, the history of Let's Talk About Service and how did the idea come about? Okay, um, actually we started with uh, this initiative 2012. Um, to be honest, actually when we started it was a very basic idea and uh, we were just thinking to bring services such as in Belgium together, discuss a bit, you know, service uh, issues, and also to involve firms, you know, in that uh, that discussion. So it was very basic. It was one day I, for one day meeting, and uh, yeah. So just uh, it was a very nice experience. And after that, so people they were so enthusiastic, and we said, why not? So to make it an annual meeting. So this was. Uh, Yes, and actually from that that uh, year on, because we found, really found that it was a, a very original concept, the, uh, Wafa, Bart and I, we really gathered and we made it a bit more ambitious because the first edition was one day and the second edition already became two days with the same type of structure, having a first day some some speeches but mostly training and then the second day having this um, workshop this collaboration between uh, PhDs yeah. and, and and because actually we got a lot of feedback from participants and mainly actually PhD students and also you know young uh, researchers asking you know for trainings asking also you know for guidance and from there we were reflecting how to help them to make this journey actually more enjoyable and from that so we made some refinement for Antwerp so it was a second edition and in Again, it was uh, another, let's say, experience where we included also these publication workshops and uh, yeah, so it was, yeah. this was actually the journey of Let's Talk About yeah. Service also. Yeah, actually we, we evolved quite a bit and uh, all, there was always one thing which was uh, every year the same. We wanted to do something back for the community and we wanted to do something back uh, by focusing on the young scholars and we wanted to introduce them to our field because yeah. we really feel that we are service research is not only what we do or just also how we do it and um, we, we, we wanted to make them feel welcome and we are actually very uh, grateful for each edition when mm -hmm. we ask people to, to, to help us make it because we can just we are just facilitators but right. the other people have to do it and everyone is very enthusiastic like like we have a, a, almost a one-on-one -on -one relationship for right. one PhD yeah. student and, and a senior scholar which is unique actually yeah right yeah mm -hmm. how do you see let's talk about service evolving in the future so what are your big plans <laughs> actually this is a challenge that each year it's very dynamic the content changes the structure so for us it's a full year of work and preparation so um already we started thinking for next edition so i i think what is really specific and unique also that we make it very dynamic very flexible so it's more adaptive uh, systems that I'll, uh, actually Bart, he was discussing this um yeah so we are following the trends and yeah. we try really to make it as relevant but, as yeah. possible but one thing that we agreed upon i think after five editions now we really have captured the ideal format and we really are convinced that we should stick to these two days for the first day will mostly be aimed at special trainings emerging contemporary topics and methodologies and then a second day that is really aimed at the workshop the collaboration publications, uh, really linking the PhDs and learning them to grow and work uh, afterwards, yeah. after them. Yeah. And, and, and have fun. Yeah. Yes. I think it's also, we always try to improve ourselves and the, the goal is every year the same, but how we do it is every year different. So it's not like you have a, a normal uh, conference where you can ex you know in advance what to expect. We, we try to follow the trends, the things that we, we hear from others, and that's, that's our goal, uh, to, to be very dynamic in terms of how we can uh, improve the lives of, of, of uh, our young scholars, which will be our future uh, right. leaders. Yeah. Just maybe to add something, this is actually a good example of co-creation. So we don't really want to make it a ready-made program. We always involve actually participants to do the design the whole program. So they make suggestions for topics, for trainings, and we take that into account. So we are very good in listening, yep. and we try to implement that, you know, for in each edition to make it as relevant as possible. But also that mm. this event, we would, we would like actually to make it... Uh, uh, let's say a good uh, to contribute to the to the mm -hmm. career actually of the future service researchers. So mm -hmm. this is the idea behind yeah. it. 